blessed day to you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Tain Talandron of Tribes Philippines Davao, sharing to you in our daily devotion. And our devotion for today can be found in James 2, verse 17 to 20. It says here, Thus also faith by itself, if does not have works, is then. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O foolish men, that faith without works is dead? This message is very important, especially with us or to us as Christians or believers of Jesus Christ. Simply because if we don't have a genuine relationship with Christ, we cannot say that we have faith. Because faith comes only when we start hearing the word of God. In Romans 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes from hearing and hearing the message of God. Second, if people say that where is your faith and your works, what you can say or answer? As Christians, our works must be the result of our faith to God. For example, if we have faith that God is the one who can give life and God also can take away lives, so our works shall be like this. We don't need to worry or afraid or to fear in losing our life. Like Abraham, his faith was accounted to him as righteousness because he believed first that God is the giver of life and God can also take away lives. That is why he didn't doubt to offer Isaac to God. That's the same message also of Jesus Christ at the cross. His faith to God the Father made him endure the cross because he believed first that he will sit at the right hand of the throne of the Father after he will finish the will of him who sent him. So for us, our faith without works or without the results in what we believe for, it is then. And lastly, let the faith in us grow by resulting it to our works to obey and follow the will of God in our life. We obey God because we have faith in Him that He is our Lord in all areas of our life. It's not that we need to obey first to gain faith, but let our faith to Him empower us to obey as a result of faith with works. Amen. Thank you for listening and let the Word of God manifest in our lives. God bless us all. Shalom.